why can't we see the sun during the night? The Earth spins round every day. During the day, the place where you live faces the sun. As the Earth turns its back to the sun, it may become night and you cannot see it anymore. Why do astronauts wear space suits? Astronauts need to wear spacesuits to, to protect themselves from the cold and the dangerous radiation that exists in outer space. Those suits also protect the astronauts from the low pressure and provide them with air to breathe. Why do leaves fall in autumn? In autumn, there is less sunlight because, because the days are shorter. Because sunlight is a crucial ingredient for leaves, they start to become weak, lose their greenish color, break from the branch, and float to the ground. Why does the moon shine? Even though you can't see the sun at night, it is still there producing light. The moon does not make its own light. Instead, the light we see is really sunlight that is reflected from the moon's surface. How does the sun shine? The sun shines by burning hyd hydrogen into helium in its core. The process is called nuclear fusion. When this happens, a tremendous amount of energy is created. The sun converts about 5 million tons of mass into energy every second. This energy heats the sun and in turn, the sun heats Earth. What is the Internet? The internet is made up of millions and millions of computers connected through networks all around the world, creating a huge system of information and communication. Why is the computer's pointing device called a mouse? In 1968, Douglas Engelbart invented a tool to control computers. It was a small wooden block with a long cable on the backside that looked like a tail. Due to the resemblance to a real mouse, it was decided to call it a mouse. Why does popcorn make a popping sound? When you heat corn, a tiny drop droplet of water inside each kernel heats up, causing it to expand and making it bigger while it turns into steam. This causes so much pressure inside the kernel that eventually it will literally pop open, making that familiar sound. Why does the firework explode before the bang? Actually, both the explosion and, and the bang happen at the exact same time. But the light travels much faster than the sound, about 874,000 times faster. So the light will always reach you before the sound, giving you the illusion that the explosion happened before the bang. Where do rainbows come from? Rainbows happen when sunlight and rain combine in a very specific way. Sunlight is actually made up of different colors that we usually don't see, because when a beam of sunlight comes down to Earth, the light is white. But if the light beam happens to hit raindrops on the way down at a certain angle, the different colors that make up the beam separate and we can see them in the form of a rainbow. What is the sound barrier? The sound barrier is the point at which an object moves from transonic to supersonic speed. In 1947, Chuck Yeager flew the experimental Bell X-1 at Mach 1 at an altitude of 45,000 feet or 13,700 meters, becoming the first human to ever break the sound barrier. Where does electricity come from? Electricity is generated in power stations who have large machines called turbines. 
Power stations need large amounts of energy to turn the turbines. Most use heat energy produced from burning coal. Others use wind energy or moving water. The spinning turbine causes large magnets to turn within wire coils, called generators. The moving magnets within the coil of wire causes the electrons to move within the coil of wire producing electricity. What is an X-ray? X-rays are particles of electromagnetic radiation. They are used to show doctors what is going on inside your body. An X-ray machine sends out invisible X-ray particles, which pass through your bones, to a computer where pictures of what is happening inside your body are generated. Are computers intelligent? Defining intelligence is notoriously difficult, since there are many different aspects to it, including social, logical, creative, or emotional intelligence. A famous test to check if a computer is indeed intelligent was developed by Alan Turing in the 1950s. Turing said that if a computer could fool a person into believing that it was human, then it should be classed as intelligent. So far, no computer has passed the test. Why is snot green? Nasal mucus is usually clear and thin, but, during an infection, mucus can change to a yellow or green color because of a chemical secreted by white blood cells to fight off bacterial or viral infection. Why do we need oxygen? Our bodies need oxygen to produce energy, and energy is required for all sorts of things like movement, growth, or repair. Energy can be added from carbohydrate fats, as well as amino acids, but they need to be oxidized for energy production to happen. Why does milk turn sour? Milk contains a sugar called lactose. It also contains harmless bacteria called lactobacillus, which use lactose for energy and create lactic acid. It is the lactic acid which makes milk taste sour. When this happens, the milk curdles and is no longer the smooth, tasty liquid that you're used to drinking. What is mold? Mold is a fungus which grows on, on organic matter in moist conditions. The role of mold is to break down decaying organic matter such as dead plants, leaves, or dead animals. Most molds cannot grow exposed to sunlight, but mold exposure in indoor air is a major health concern. Mold spores can be allergenic, causing irritations of eye, nose, throat, and lungs. Why do some balloons float and, and others don't? It really depends on what is inside each balloon. While the ones that are filled up with air from your lungs will not float, balloons filled up with a special gas that weighs even less than air called helium can float all the way up to the sky. How do TV remote controls work? Remote controls are devices that allow us, through beams of infrared light, to control our TV. This light is a type of light that you can't see, but a sensor on the TV can detect it. Depending on which buttons you press, the light lashes in different sequences that the TV will interpret and act accordingly. How does a microwave oven heat up, up food? A conventional oven cooks food starting on the outside and moving to the inside over time. Unlike a conventional oven, a microwave oven's rays are able to excite the fat, sugar, and water molecules, causing them to move around and create heat that cooks the food very quickly. Why does wood burn? A fire needs three things to burn oxygen, heat, and fuel. Technically, wood does not burn, but because of the heat, it rapidly oxidizes, and it's the gas given off by that oxidation that will actually burn. 
wood will act as fuel for the fire. Why does stepping on a banana peel make a, make a sl Did you know that we walk because of friction? Friction allows us to push the ground back with our feet as we move forwards. Since the banana peel makes the friction very reduced, stepping on it will make us slip. How do airplanes fly? The four aerodynamic forces make an airplane fly are lift, the upward acting force, weight gravity, the downward acting force, thrust, the forward acting force, and drag, the air resistance or backward acting force. These four forces are continuously battling each other while an airplane is in flight, giving it balance and maintaining it flying. Why is Mars red? The surface material of Mars, un unlike the Earth, contains lots of iron oxide, the same compound that gives blood and rust their reddish color too, making it look red. What is a comet? Comets are dusty snowballs which orbit the sun. Comets have an icy center, called the nucleus, surrounded by a large cloud of gas and dust, called the comma. The comma is created as the ice in the nucleus is warmed by the sun and vaporizes. Why does something I drop fall to the ground instead of floating? Earth's gravity is what keeps you on the ground and what causes objects to fall as the special force that is constantly pulling you and everything around you towards the center of the Earth. Is there life on other planets? People have always wondered if there is life beyond Earth in space. With all of the countless billions of stars and possible planets and moons in space, many people think that under the right conditions, life can exist elsewhere in space. However, there is still no evidence that it does exist. Why is the sky blue? When the sun shines onto Earth and lights up, up the sky, it shines waves of energies containing lots of colors. Of all of these waves, the waves of energies that we see as blue are the shortest. Because they are the shortest, the waves are the most effective by the particles in our atmosphere, which cause them to scatter around the sky more than any of the others. Why do we need trees? Trees are necessary for our survival. Through photosynthesis, trees produce a gas that we cannot live without called oxygen. As we breathe in, our bodies take in oxygen, and when we breathe out, we release another gas called carbon dioxide. Trees do the opposite. They take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. This cleans the air by removing harmful carbon dioxide so that people and animals can breathe.